So I am here. We're going to try to finish up this journal, y'all. Okay. Or this, uh, well, journal, flippy, flappy, envelope, bag, thing, journal. <laughs> I don't even know what to call it. It just, it has so much going on. Um, but it's good. It's good going on. So uh, we have the tag that we created. And then I uh, got out some of the bits that we're going to stuff in here and some things that I'm going to go over with you. Um, but the first thing we want to do is put in our signatures. So I I decided that I'm going to I'm going to put, put the two holes here, just two, and I'm going to put uh, twine or seam binding or something and uh, a couple times through so we have uh, the ability to put both signatures in there but have the ability to also take out or put in pages. Um, I thought that that would be a better uh, use uh, for the for the end user of the journal. So let's go ahead and do that. Where did I put? Oh, not where did I put? I know where it's at. <laughs> now that my studio is nice and organized, um, my uh, my uh, yeah. Uh, Okay, so, um, oh yeah, and if you didn't see that video, it's on my channel. Um, I put it out there yesterday. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and move this over. And let's see, let's, let me see where the paper comes in. Oh, can't pick up anything today. Okay, so it's just in there like that. Kind of want to keep it. Uh, so where it's in the middle, okay. So it's like a, a quarter, a quarter of an inch, maybe. Okay. Yeah. So right there and right there is good. I'm gonna get my pencil here. I'm just gonna eyeball this. Um, so let's let's do. Um, yeah, because we don't want to rip the paper. Um, so I'm actually going to do it as close as possible uh, at the uh, at the end and the top to make sure that we have enough um, room. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this on here. Move those. See where I'm coming in at. And... Oops. Just eyeballing it. Okay, there's one, and then I'm going to do the same thing, bring it in here, bring it down a little bit, and then see where it's going, so I, I know where to, how far I want the hole. Okay, all right, hopefully that was good enough. Okay, so now um, I haven't decided... So I want to do twine, um, but I have this, these twines. I have one that's uh, got gold and silver in it. Um, the gold would look really pretty because, you know, of all the, the browns and oranges and things we got going on. But I'm partial to silver. Um, and this is just, you know, twine you get at the local craft store. I think this would pop out more. So we've got one that will kind of blend in a little bit. Um, and, and one that's to pop out more and give a little sparkle. So I like that. But I also pulled out my um, seam binding because I think, you know, it's supposed to be rustic. So I was thinking one of these. This, little, this one's a little bit smaller. Let's see what this one. This might look good. Um, let's see where's the middle signature here. Um, you know, be nice and fluffy. I don't know, you know, not fluffy, but a little bit more, you know, have a little bit more. I think it's still going to be too big um, or too thick. So, yeah, okay. I really wanted to go, I think I really wanted to go with this, but I'm going to forego it um, and keep keep it in uh, uh, the twine uh, idea. Either any and all would look good, um, and depending on how you know big you're, you can always you know cut your pages down. Um, which you know what I might have to anyway. Let's see. Let's see. Um, this fit in there. Oh no. So 
card. Still not. Let's see. Oh no. Okay, it does. It fits in there. You want you want your pages to fit in between your holes. It's a little tight, but I think um, I think it'll be fine. All right, let's let's try it. Let's um, let's see what we can do here. Um, yeah, because I I thought you know there's all there's only a few pages per signature. You know this is not going to if you add more pages and you fluff it out a little bit more, like you put more stuff into it, um, then you know either either method would you know sewing them in or just doing a a closure or a you know elastic or uh, what do you call this uh, cord binding and what's with this oh okay uh, twine binding I should say elastic or twine binding this is just quick and easy and it'll kind of go with the rustic nature of the journal um, but you do if you're you know if you're not following along or even if you are um, you know whether you are or aren't using I should say the digital kit and you know you can make yours you know you can use whatever you want to match your aesthetic um, there's no right or wrong just because I do something one way doesn't mean that that's the only way in both holes Okay, a little bit wrap there. Okay, and then I want to bring this up, and then I want to put it through again. So let's give us some, a little bit more to play with here, and put it back through there. And. That over there. Let's yeah. Make sure you want to have enough to go back up to the top and come out, so it can it can you can tie it. So I'm just kind of measuring, so I don't waste um, product. Measuring is okay. That should be that should be enough because if it goes there, I have a good hangover. Okay, and not the kind of hangover from drinking. Okay, just 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 saying. <laughs> um, is my okay? I just wanted to make sure that my volume was on. Had to make sure. <laughs> oh, that would not be good. <laughs> of course, I mean I could walk you guys through it, but I'd rather just do it like the first time. Okay. Okay. Perfect. It's going to be fabulous. Like I said, it's a little, a little tight, but these aren't heavy signatures. That's kind of, kind of what I was trying to say earlier is that these aren't really heavy, so it should be fine. Um, but um, you know what? I'm just gonna. Hang on to it here really quick. Okay. So there we go. Make sure that it's good and kosher. Okay. okay. Now before I tie it off, I want to make sure that this is going to be Good. We got some looseness going on here. There we go. I'm gonna make sure that these are both going to flip now uh, without tearing the papers. Because the worst thing you want to do is put a journal together, whether you're making it for yourself or someone else, um, and it not it be, you know, the binding be. Um, and signatures be uh, compromised in any way that would uh, prevent it from, you know, 
standing up to wear and tear and use. Just want to make sure. Okay, all right. Now this might be a long video because I want to try to get everything done. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is, as now that it's come out, I think, I'm going to first first tie this. So we have a tie. There we go. Now I don't want it too tight to where people can. Okay, good. You can still still um, take it take the pages in and out. That's the whole purpose of this. Uh, this kind of binding, whether you're, you're using twine or um, um, what do you call it, elastic, is that is the ability to take pages in and out. Okay. Now I'm going to cut this now because. Okay. Now I'm going to I'm going to crisscross them. hold on to each other there around the binding and then tie it again and I'm going to double double knot this one okay all right let's see how that how that feels A little bit of looseness so you can pull the pages in and out. Sure, yep, okay. But yeah, it's, 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 uh, you know, it holds well at the same time. Yeah, okay, looks like a good bit. Okay, great. Okay, all right, I'm happy with that. Um, this is how it looks. And I'm just, I'm going to leave that there. I don't know what I'm going to do with these yet. So I'm just going to leave them hanging there for a minute. Um, while we finish working all right so now here what i did for this is i um took the other uh, Im uh, image from the kit and i backed it and then i put a tab on it and then i sewed all the way around and that is going to go in here like that slightly sticking up no it's not sticking up enough there we go I want to stick it up there because I'm, I'm going to probably put a charm on this. Um, okay, and then this, um, this actually, if you remember, uh, I cut off uh, which this this brown paper bag here. I cut off the top, right? And so we could make our own little pocket thingy. So what I did was is I put an image from the kit. It was already it was already a pocket image. Um, so I put that on here, and then I sewed all the way around. Okay, we're going to make this a belly band. And I thought it would look nice here. Yeah. The contrast with the, the, okay. And so then, let's see. So I thought that was a cute idea. I just, uh, you know, and if, you, if you're not using this kit, and you're using another kit, you can cut out the paper, you know, to match. I just, I just, why is this all yuckified? Uh oh. Uh, arg, 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 arg. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Uh, mailman came, and well, if you've been following my channel, you know the dogs go nuts when the mailman comes. So I want to uh, ease your ears. <laughs> and so I'm just going to give this some glue. Um, yeah, I thought this would be a cute little uh, belly band addition because, you know, it goes along with the rustic nature of the um, journal. So, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to... Make sure that the these are pressed down really, really good. Yeah, and then somebody could, uh, the owner of the journal can stick something in there. 
Okay, and then back here, you know, we have our envelopes here and stuff like that. I thought I pulled out um, a couple of the postcards from the kit, and I thought I would put them back here somehow. This is going to get bulked up enough, so I think I'm going to put them here in a way that they kind of stagger like that. Let's make sure that these are the same size to start with. Let me just cut it with my knife. Now they're both the same. Okay, and so we could create pockets with these, right? I'm just trying to figure out, I think I want the birdie on the bottom. Yeah. And then put that one kind of inside that one so you have a pocket here and a pocket here. Not that we don't have enough pockets going on, but hey. Um, so I'm going to um, leave this one first. Let's, let's do that here. And what I might do is just leave this down uh, or leave the bottom unglued um, so they'll have a deeper pocket. Oops. Okay. okay, so see now, when this is on there, they'll have a deeper pocket. So I'll leave that unglued. Okay, and then we'll glue this one on. Now this one I'll do all three sides. And that way you'll have a really nice deep pocket that'll go all the way down to the bottom of this one. And then you'll have a, a shorter pocket here. Yeah, I like that. Yep. I like that a lot. I like it a lot. Okay. So, and then I made a, a, a did pull out some ephemera pieces. I'm going to go ahead and ink those. And, you know, um, I was watching uh, Michelle 1L um, one night. Uh, when she was doing the craft with everybody and she had said that she liked this brush corduroy that it was like the perfect caramely vintage color um, so I, I bought some because you know vintage photo is nice but it's it's darker it's it's got it's more moody I think um, and so I got this and I really like it um, it gives just a little bit of something something. So I'm going to quickly go around and I'll put a few of these pieces in different areas. Um, I'm, I'm not going to fill the envelopes. I'm going to let, uh, um, or maybe I'll put something in the envelopes too um, out of this. I didn't uh, create a lot of pieces because I want the owner to fill it how they would like to fill it. Um, yeah. Okay. Yes, I just, I love this. It's not as dark um, as uh, Vintage Photo, which I love. There's uses and purposes for that, but Vintage Photos was always dark to me, where this one, um, it's, it has, a, it's, it's just, I don't know, it's, it's got a perfect caramel hue to it, um, but yet it's, you know, dark, but it's perfect for aging. She was right. She was very, very right about that, so... Thankfully, I caught those girls live that one night. Um, and this was like, I don't think it was, it, was, it wasn't yesterday's or whatever, this week's video, uh, live stream with the girls. Um, it was last week's. Um, and I, so it was yesterday, Monday. So was she live yesterday? Was it, it's either Mo Sunday or Monday that she and the girls, she does a, like a craft and chat where a few people stream with her um so it, it and i think it's on um i think it's on 
Mondays, but I could be wrong. I'd have to go back and look. But anyway, uh, subscribe to um, Michelle's channel. Um, she's awesome. So, okay, so let's put, um, I, th I know I wanted to put something over here. We got the, I've already put the one thing in here with the pad of paper, but I thought over here, like in this, well, let's put, let's put um, one tag in here, okay, like that. And then let's do this as the insert, right? Okay, yeah, that'll fit in there. Okay, so there's a little something there. So I got the tag here um, that can be utilized. They have a card there. I left that. I'll leave that for them. They got a pocket here. I'll put that in the pocket there. We got the notepad in. Um, yeah, and so then they got a pocket here and a pocket there. Then they open it up. They've got a pocket here, you know, and you could, if you're, um, this, you know, this could go in there, right? E either way. Um, and, but I want, I want them to know that there's a pocket there. I am going to go ahead and um, ink this. And then who was I watching? I was watching, I think it was Ruby and Pearl. And yes, Ruby and Pearl. And uh, her name is Heather, and she, uh, this was an older video. I don't know how old, it might just be, you know, a few months. It might be, you know, last, uh, you know, long time last year, you know. But it was a video she had about uh, aging paper that um, one of her subbies had told her. They did, she did like a collaboration thing where she did the video and talked about the friend that sent her the Happy Meal and uh, Happy happy meal when we're going to McDonald's happy mail um, and that she the, 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 the woman does good aging so Heather got her to uh, to say how she did it and so while that video was playing um, or while she was you know doing that video she mentioned that um, and I don't know if it was her idea or the girl's idea probably the girl's idea that uh, she collaborated with, um, and that when you're doing your papers and you're inking them, don't swipe all the way around, dab. It gives like a perfect amount of aging, right? So I've been doing that, and it's so true. I love it. I love the way it's not so, you know, you don't get too much on there. If you dab it, um, it gives the perfect amount of, of aging. See, I love it. So that was a great idea. Um, Okay, so we did that, card in that in there. We could put, um, nope, that's the same. We want to put that somewhere else. Um, see, I originally pulled these pieces to go, you know, in here, in these pockets. That one's going to go all the way down now. Um, yeah, maybe not, maybe... Oh, did I put this one over here? Yeah, maybe they will do that. And then these two. Oh, I did. I did pull out the right amount of stuff. Let's put. Um, oh, we need to do this. Well, no, I wanted something there. I may pull out something to put in there. Um, but let's see. So let's put. Um, where is this at? Okay. So let's put this one in there. And then let's put this, um, this tab needs to go somewhere. I think we'll look silly. Because it's not, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I need to make a card for that one. I'll do that. And then that way there's, you know. Um, now, we didn't put a pocket here. Um, but they have enough pockets and things going on that uh, I do want to make a card. Uh, so we'll do that really quick. We'll put this one um, there. No. That's there. Let's put this here. No. Um, well, anyway, they'll have so this way. Okay. So they have some ephemera. I don't want to fill everything. I want it to be kind of touch and go. Um, so... If, I'm going to make, I'll make a card, um, and it doesn't matter, you know, postcard something or another, but I'll make a card to go in here, um, and I'll just do that off camera, um, so if you're following along, you know, make, 
I, this one really I want to put a card in only because um, this side's open too and this side. So I want to put a card that has a tab that goes in this way um, so they can see that why I left that open, right? So I'll do that off camera. Coming back to the front now, and I think we're done. Um, let's see. Yes, now how was, was I going to glue this? Yes, I was going to glue this on there just with that and not have it, uh, um, not have it to wear, um, because you know what, you could put, um, a band, but then, you know, why would you do that? You could put a band, my, my point is you could put a band and then slide that through, um, but I don't think that's necessary. I, I don't, I, once we glue it on there, it'll stay. It's not going to go anywhere. You know, this, this tag is more for aesthetics, although, you know, they'll be able to write here and there, but I do, we do need to glue it on there. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. So let's do that. I'm going to go ahead and, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Um, yeah. So let's just, I'm just going to do it here really quick. Okay. Oops. Bring this up to where it's in front of me. Then eyeball it here and push it down I like that position. Make sure we don't have any glue sticking out. Okay. Make sure it's straight on there well. Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. Okay, I love it. Okay, I'm going to put some clips on this to keep it together um, while it dries um, so it doesn't pop. Um, get that up there. Okay, just so it dries, uh, or just, just, well, you know what? Actually, I'll hold it because I want to tie this up too. Um, but yeah, that's it. This was a fun project. Um, and if you're doing this for yourself, you know, fill all your pockets. Make your tags and journaling cards. You know, that, that doesn't take um, a, a, a lot of, you know, they don't have to be um, glamorous, you know. Um, you know, make it, make it simple, you know. Um, but you can definitely... Um, make your your cards and things on there like that. Okay. And gigs, yeah, when you watch this, thank you for my little crochet doily thingies. I love them. I need more. <laughs> more and, and maybe flowers or something okay so let's, um, let's make sure that this has got a good adhesion okay yeah i have a couple of her her little crochet doilies or flowers or whatever they these are um she gave me, I think she gave me three, so I have two left. I know I've seen them the other day when I was doing the finishing up or working through the, the mess that was, um, yeah, oh, look at it, it's so cute. And then I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to open, I'm going to put a hole through here and put an eyelet and then I'm going to put a charm on there. Um, I may do something, uh, maybe put some beads or something on this. Um... And then I'll make a card for the back. And then you'll see a flip through um, on my channel, separate from this video. Once I'm, I've completed it, you know, now, now it's just time to put it, you know, glam it up the way you like it. Um, or don't, you know, and just put, fill your pockets. Um, yeah. Or if this was a gift, you know, uh, a cater to the person that you're giving it to. Um, so then this comes over here. 
and I'm gonna just loosely, you know, you know, this is uh, suede suede cords. You don't want to pull too too hard. Um, yeah, so it's a little long. I'll probably, I'll probably, uh, yeah, I'll shrink it down a little bit, not too much, um, because well, maybe not. Um, so, you know, it's still like I said, it's still got a ways to go before it's full. Um, but I think I can um, cut it down just a little bit. So yeah, so the plan is, is I'll do something maybe with these strings or not. I am going to put an eyelet in there and put a charm off there. And then I'm going to make a card for that other, that other bit. Um, yeah, and then uh, I'll do a flip through of it all. Yeah, and maybe I'll make something for that belly band area as well. Um, another, maybe another bigger tag or something. Yeah, I think I will do that. Yeah. Anyway, you'll see all those new little additions, the last last little bits of additions in the walkthrough. Um, I hope you enjoyed this series, um, and in that you'll get, you know, or maybe you're you're inspired to give it a try. Um, yeah. So, if you have any questions or comments, um, don't hesitate to ask. I'm I'm always available. Um, yeah, either via email or Facebook or, um, you know, here on the channel in the comment section. I love when you guys uh, comment on my videos. It's so fun to interact in that, um, in that sort of way. So don't be shy. Um, okay, guys, I'm going to let you go. I'm, I'm going to let this dry, and then I'm going to do the last little bits, and then I'll do a walkthrough, um, either today or tomorrow. Um, and I, again, like I said, I hope you ha had fun or you're inspired to give this a try. Um, yeah. And uh, have a great creative day, my friends. I love you all. Hugs and love. Bye. Take care.